Welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's your girl, Katia, and we're all about creating originality, just doing things creatively and just chasing after your dreams. Let's go, let's get it. You guys showed me so much love on my last video. I made a whole music video in one hour, and I did that using the Voicey app uh, for the background music. So since you guys gave your girl so much love, I am going to give you a tutorial on how to use voices. There were a couple of comments that I saw that told me that you were having trouble trying to figure it out. So today is the day you get the tutorial. I am going to show you step by step how to create a song using Voicey app. Now, if you don't know what Voicey app is, Voicey app is this new upcoming app that's all about sharing and creating. If you are a songwriter or a singer or a beat maker, this is the app for you, okay? You can use it to sing to other people's beats. If you're a producer and you make your own beats, you can submit your beats. Other people can use your beats to sing to it or rap to it or whatever you want to do to it. So it's just a really good app. Um, it's up and coming. It's pretty new. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to generate this whole app today. Um, it is going to be a pink box with a sideways V on it. Okay, so that, that's voicey. Um, so once you get into the app, as you can see here, um, it is very similar to TikTok. You have the feature, you have the following, um, you also have the share button, the likes, the comments, um, and also you have down at the bottom, you can see who is producing this song. So as you can see, the layout is very similar. So I think there's gonna be a lot of competition between TikTok and Voicey in, in the upcoming months or so as Voicey continues to, to grow. So you can also see the home button, the share button, this middle button with the pink button, that is where you will start to record or submit a beat. Um, the fire is just who has seen your stuff and the people person is just your private page, okay? So if you click on the middle button, you wanna make sure you hit record voicey, okay? If you're gonna record, you wanna hit record vo voicey. If you're gonna submit a beat, you wanna hit submit a beat, okay? So today we're just gonna do record voicey. Um, so you click that. And it's loading, loading, loading. Um, hey y'all. So once you get here, you it says connect wider headphones to preview voice filters. This is where you want to have headphones. If you don't have headphones, it's not going to benefit you as much, or it's not going to sound like you want it to sound. So I highly recommend connect your headphones. So I'm going to connect my headphones now. So that way you can use all the filters, all the voice things, the really cool things on it. So, and as you can see, as soon as I connected my, um, my headphones, I can see all the voice filters here, all the voice filters, filters, which are really, really cool. So, and I'm, I'm going to go through that in just a minute. Um, so I'm gonna put my headphones in here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is pick a beat. So as you can see here, the little the green dot here, you want to pick a beat. And here you can scroll through all these different songs. These are all the songs that are available on Voicey, okay? Um, all the producers submit their beats, so you can scroll through. If you want to filter out for a certain sound, so let's say you want to have R&B, you can tap the R&B button and it will filter out all the R&B songs. If you want to have R&B, but a little bit of, uh, let's see, West Coast, you can hit West Coast and it will filter out all the R&B and West Coast things for you. So this filter by is actually really, really cool. So that way you can pick whichever sound that you want to either sing to or rap to. So that's a really good feature there. Let's just go for something random. So let's do a, what I want to do. Let's do funk, right? Um, so now I'm filtering out all the voicey uh, songs that are funk related. So when you click on one, it will pop up the song that you want to play, right? Let's try to find something really cool. All right, that's cool. All right. So if you when you click on it, it gives you a preview of what the song is, right? So you can scroll through and figure out which one before you're actually using it. Something I love to do is clicking the star. The star will add it to your favorites. So as you can see, the new popular and favorites, these are all my favorite voices. So that way I don't have to go back and actually research it again. I can go to my favorites and um, do that. So once you have the song you want to use, you want to click on it and you want to make sure to press use, okay? Use is, will bring you to 
the song is already in there now is your turn to add your vocals to it okay so as you can hear um there are different uh there are different types of filters that you can use there's clean pop clean pop what gives you literally a clean a clean pop sound there's tune which is more so um auto tune if you want to use it harmony is my favorite it's like a let me turn this down it's like a weird uh like auto-tune like, auto -tune, really grungy really and dark grungy but and dark, beautiful at the same beautiful. time so i love the I harmony love the um so if you want to use that, really this, use is that. Really cool this is a really cool feature stargate, stargate um is really it's more really spacey more it spacey. kind of gives you this kind outer space, space type space type feel type the next one is billy eilish so if you're trying to sound like billy eilish this is your chance so this is it says Billy ish. Okay, so Billy ish. If you kind of want to sound like her, you know, um, this is what you want to do. Pop is kind of similar to the first one, Clean Pop, but it gives you more a um, echo. It gives you more of a subtle type of pop and not the Clean Pop, which is just straight bam in your face. Scottish, um, it gives you more. I think a lot of rappers use a lot of this one. Um, There's a lot of auto tune, a lot of, as you can hear, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Um, super dry, as it says, it's super dry. Like, there's no echo, no re reverb, there's no harmony, there's no nothing. Um, heaven is very similar to um, the harmony one, but it's more softer, right? And then the space, again, is like you can add it to, um, like, like, like your outer space. So let's just give this a try. Um, what I like to do is... Before I actually record, I want to hit this play button. This play button will uh, play out the song so I can get an idea of what I want to sing. So when I press, press the play button, let's just play with it. Okay. Okay. I'm on harmony right now. what you want to do which how you want to sing you can actually change the effect all you got to do is let's say let's let's do the harmony um you can edit the effect right you want to click this edit fx at the top of the effects so when you click on it you can change the auto tune you can bring it down you can bring the echo down or bring it up or bring it up echo if you want more reverb um you can bring that up, you can bring, bring that, it down. If I want my harmonies to be more evident, I can bring that up. You hear that? Um, and then if I want no harmony, I can bring it down. So this is really cool. You can actually change the effects. So they're not just set one way. Um, you can actually alter how you want to sound on that, okay? So and if you want to reset it, you can press reset, and it'll bring it back to the original uh, effect, okay? And when you're done, you just press done. Now it's time to record, right? All you got to do is press the record button and it will give you a countdown right right to the rhythm of the song it will give you the countdown to the rhythm of the song okay that's so that's really cool um let's play with it um uh, uh, Sitting here, sitting here, 
I'm chillin', and I'm sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, chillin', yeah, you look good, <laughs> you look good, you look good, yeah, yeah, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, cause you look good, you look good. Majority of the songs are about a minute long, so that's enough time to do probably like the verse and the chorus. The really cool thing is you can actually change your effect after you've recorded. So let's say I didn't want to do harmony anymore, right? And I want to use clean pop. You look good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can change your effect. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You look good. You look good. Say, hey, you look uh -huh. good. Take it out, take it out. Uh. So once you're done, once you're satisfied, you can be ready to upload it, right? If you're not pleased with what you heard, you can press that back button and it will give you the option to reshoot or discard the entire thing, okay? So I do a lot of reshooting with mine, actually. So once you're satisfied with that, if you want to do some video filters, you can click on the side. Um, underneath the voice FX, you can click on video filters and it will give you different things to actually filter your video. So Blur One, they only have a few right now, but I imagine as the app grows, there's gonna be so much more filters that's gonna happen. My favorite one is the fade, right? So it gives you more of a vintage one. So let's do that. Um, so now that I'm done, I'm going to save draft, okay, at the top. Save draft, it will be saving your voicey. Um, this is kind of a little bit tricky sometimes. I've been, I was having an issue when I first started with, I don't know how to upload, but save draft, this will bring you to the option to upload. Now, once you're here, this gives you the option to give your description, your hashtags, whatever you want to say, just like Instagram, just like TikTok, just like Twitter, whatever, you can do your description box, your caption at the top, right? So let's say, um, YouTube tutorial. I'm going to put that here. And let's do hashtag. I usually do original. Um, the cool thing about it, um, it gives you some preset um, things just like Instagram. Um, original, I don't know, something. Um, that's not how you spell original. Okay, I'm just going to correct that. That's, that's not what I wanted. Original. No. Okay, cool. So once I'm done with that, um, if you want to share it to your timeline right now, you can just go ahead and leave this thing on public. If you want to save it on private, all you got to do is just click it and it will upload, but it will be private. So only you can see it. So that's a really cool feature too, is that only you can see your sharings. Okay. If you're just kind of like, uh, I don't really know yet. I want to just hold it there. Just, you know, I'm just to see if I like it. You can click that button and it will automatically go to private sharing. I'm going to leave it on private sharing just so because it's, it's a tutorial and, um, I don't really want it to be on my platform. So, um, Content information, if you do a cover of a song, so if, if it's not your actual song, you want to click the cover and you want to put in like the artist and title, stuff like that. Um, if it's an original song, you leave it blank. If you want to delete it, you can press delete and it will permanently delete forever. What I like to do is instead of deleting it, leaving it on private sharing and then going back later to delete it if I've decided if I want to, if I want to just throw it away, okay? So for right now, we're going to leave it on private. And once you're done, all you gotta do is click this, this check mark here. So right now, I clicked on the people button down below, and as you can see, it's processing. I have a lot of private videos. Like I said, I like to think things over um, and go back and kinda re-listen to them. If I don't like it, I'll go back in to, um, to do it. So as this, this is processing, um, if it's private, you will, it will say private. If it's not private like this one, um, underneath the processing one. This is actually on my feed. You can actually see that one. So if it's private, you'll know it's private because it will say private. So as you can see now, it is uploaded, it's private, um, and that way no one can see it but me. Now, if I wanna go back and change it, I can click on that video and I can press these three little dots above and it will take me back to the original Thing. So I can click public and it can be public, right? Um, so, I, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go back. Another cool feature is split screen. So if you want to do multiple videos on top of multiple videos, you can do this. If you hit the split screen, it will give you the option to record with the other video that you just did. So as you can see here, 
um, there's two screams here, right? Um, and it's just going to play back the other one, and, and you can just sing on top of that one. So let's try it out. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here, and here, sitting here, and here, I'm chilling, and I'm sitting here, and sitting here, and sitting here, and sitting here, 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 here,